Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have some beautiful floral cards to share with you. They're quick and easy, but I think they're pretty spectacular because of the products that I chose to make them. These floral cards are going to be part of a blog hop with the Stampers Dozen design team. And our theme today is Sweet Summertime. What better theme could there be for the middle of July, right? I chose to use this gorgeous floral dye from the Artistic Dyes, as well as the Ombre Specialty Paper. This is a glimmer paper. It is so beautiful. It comes in four different colors. We've got, whoops, let's go back. Poppy Parade, Gorgeous Grape, Night of Navy, and you can see that graduated color down the page, and Mango Melody. So let's flip this camera around. I'm gonna show you how to make these quick and easy cards that are gonna be just perfect for summer and oh so spectacular for your friends and family. First thing I'd like to do is show you the products that I chose to use to make my cards. This is the Artistically Inked Stamp Set and it goes along with the Artistic Dies. This is a gorgeous set of dies that you can use pretty much exclusively to make cards. We do have some outlines down here for the stamped images that are in the stamp set, but also some beautiful sentiments and I love this watercolor kind of um, marble looking stamps. They're really, really unique. We're gonna be using this die out of the Artistic Dies. And then I needed a label die, so I pulled out my Hippo and Friends dies. There's a bunch of labels in here, as well as images to cut out all the cute little characters in the Hippo Happiness set. Now this is a, I think this is a bundle um, it might not be bundled anymore, but this set of dies can be purchased separately as well as the stamp set. I recommend both, right? Because, well, you're going to have all those little cuties. I needed a very small label, and I chose this one right here for my sentiment on the front of my card. So that's where this is coming from, and I always just like to let you know that. Now I've got four different cards I'm gonna share with you today. They're all the same, but I chose to use different colors for them, which is something that I always like to do. I brought in my Ombre Specialty Paper. That's the name of this. Uh, let's see, we've got an item code here of 155784. This comes, like I said, in Poppy Parade Knight of Navy. I hope that the light is picking up the um, glitter in these pieces of specialty paper. Mango Melody and Gorgeous Grape. And the one thing I really love about Stampin' Up's Glimmer paper, there's no glitter falling all over the place. You don't get glitter any place. This paper is such good quality. We are going to take a basic white thick card base. I have cut this at five and a half by eight and a half. The other samples I'm gonna show you when I get done making this card, some of them are tall, like the 11 by four and a quarter, and some of them are um, short like this with the five and a half by eight and a half. Here is our glimmer paper. This is three and three quarters by five. And then we've got matching poppy parade that is three and seven eighths by five and five and an eighth, just an eighth of an inch bigger than this piece. And I'm going to add my ombre paper to this layer. Now it's gonna give you a very thin little border of that poppy parade sticking out from behind the um, specialty paper. And I just love that pop that's on here when you do that. Now, I'm not gonna break my golden rule of putting my card together before I stamp the inside. So let's do that first. I've got Poppy Parade ink and also Pear Pizzazz. So we're going to stamp the smaller of the two larger flowers here. This is the smaller one in the Poppy Parade ink. And I'm gonna stamp that right over here and maybe I'll decide to stamp it again 
and again but just look at that how that color marbles in there it's just so beautiful okay then we've got pear pizzazz and that's the green that i chose to use for my leaves and i'm just going to come in here and add some foliage around by my flowers just like that and isn't that going to be a pretty inside for our card? I see my lighting is a little funny today. I'm sorry about that. I'm still trying to get everything figured out with the lighting. We'll get it figured out. <laughs> Just going to take a little bit of time. Okay, now we're ready to put our front on our card. Remember I told you this was pretty, these are pretty quick and easy cards. I love how spectacular they are and they don't take a lot of time to make. So next we're going to take a piece of scrap basic white and I'm gonna grab the Hello from the Artistically Inked stamp set. And we're going to stamp that right down here. And we will be die cutting this with that Hippo die. Hippo and Friends die. And then we're gonna take this floral die from the artistic dies and we're gonna die cut this. Hang tight while I get this done. Okay, here comes our die cut pieces. Here's our Hello label. And as long as we've got this right here, I am going to add a couple dimensionals to the back of it and just set it aside. Now we're going to take this one and bring in our dye brush. And I'm, I like to leave the um, dye on my paper if possible, because that way you can be a lot more aggressive with this dye brush when you're brushing it over the metal versus just on the paper trying to get the bits and pieces out. And what I really like about this dye is that the majority of these pieces will come right out and you don't have to mess around with it much at all to get it ready to use on your card and i don't know about you guys but when i have dies that work like this oh that just makes me happy it's my happy place when i don't have to mess around too much so i see i've got just a couple little things wow that came out really good right okay now we're going to grab this and then I just want to put this on the front of my card. This label is going to go on here and the easiest way I found to do it was just to add some little dots of glue around to some of the bigger areas on the back of this piece. Now if you wanted to you could get out a sponge dauber and your glue and you could add glue with a sponge dauber. That works really good too. But you guys that follow me know I'm a little lazy. <laughs> I'm a lazy stamper, I should say. I'm not lazy in general, I'm just a lazy stamper. So I'm just gonna do what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to add this right to the front of my specialty paper. And you, you're going to need to hold it down just a little bit because, let me get this little bit out from under here. I see a little piece that didn't come off. Um, you're going to hold it down for a little bit because we are adhering this to glitter paper, right? There we go. And then, let's see, where did my ribbon go? I'm going to be using some of this Whisper White Crinkled Ribbon, and I thought this would be just a nice little embellishment to go under my sentiment, my label. And I'm going to fold that in half and just kind of cut it off like this. And then I wanted to grab a mini glue dot. And that's how I'm going to stick this to my paper. So I've got a mini glue dot on the back here that's hitting both of those pieces. And I think I'll put it right over here, just like that. And let me trim this up just a little bit because that's not really at an angle as much as I would like it to be. There we go. And now we're going to put our label on. And I'm just gonna put our label right over that ribbon. Just 
kind of something a little interesting there, right? Then I have some of the faceted, the elegant faceted gems. And I thought these would look really pretty right on our little label. I just wanted a little bit of bling and these are so faceted. They're absolutely beautiful. I hope you can see that in the light. Last but not least, we have an envelope and why not decorate it as long as we have all of our stuff still out here. So I've got the Poppy Parade ink and the Pear Pizzazz, still using the same colors here. And I'm just going to come in and add a pretty little flower right there on the front. Here is our beautiful card. The inside is spectacular as well. And how simple was this, right? So this floral, little bit of sparkle, this all just screams sweet summertime to me. I have been having such a nice time with my flowers this summer. I have to water them sometimes twice a day because they're so big in the pots that I know, um, I know they're root bound, but they're also going to, you know, start shriveling up if I don't continue to keep them moist. And here in Wisconsin, it can get pretty hot. Here comes the um, gorgeous grape. And again, this is the same card. I moved it over here. I use Highland Heather ink here in Gorgeous Grape for my layer. And this is a tall card. Again, very pretty inside with that matching envelope. Then we have the Mango Melody. Same card, but now this one is a short card. Okay, so we've got hamburger and hot dog. And I just moved my sentiment over here and it opens up like this. I use Mango Melody ink for these. And last but not least is the blue ombre specialty paper. I used Misty Moonlight for my ink and Night of Navy for the layer that's under the specialty paper. So there's four cards. I made all of these very quickly super easy once you get your dies done there's really not a lot else to do here but aren't they just beautiful i can't wait to send these out now if you would like to order any of the products that i've shown you here today you can head right over to my blog also this link right here will take you there www.estampabove.com you're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every blog post. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Um, you can get any of these products. We also have um, a designer paper, paper sale going on right now, and you'll find that in my online store. Please make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. We've got some fantastic videos in the works that'll be coming soon and you'll get a notification from YouTube when I have a new video if you subscribe. All right, follow that blog hop. When you click here, you're gonna go to my blog. You're gonna look for these cards. Then there's gonna be a whole list of other demonstrators in the Stampers Dozen blog hop that are gonna show you sweet summertime card ideas. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye-bye.